What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and today as you can tell by the title of today's video I am going to be installing my oil catch can on my Genesis that I have right here I actually went on ahead and bought my catch can from Amazon because Let's just say the catch can that I bought, it should be fairly good. It was in another YouTuber's video. Y'all probably know who I'm talking about. I believe his name is Ethan. And I don't think he had any problems with his yet. But a little backstory about my Genesis as opposed to like my last video that I showed y'all. I tried to fix my bumper and <laughs> look at this. This thing is no good at all. Like, I don't even know why I tried to fix it. All I did was I tried to epoxy this, tried to put epoxy and super glue, and it worked for like one drive, and then after that, you can see what happened to it now. The other side actually is holding up quite nicely, but in the event that it might happen to this side as well, I went on ahead and purchased a brand new bumper. It should be here like within the next few days, hopefully, if not then the beginning of next week. But a few of y'all were grilling me about like, PJ, why didn't you just spend your money and get this bumper fixed? You could have got it repainted, professionally fixed for so cheap or whatever. But I actually did not want to do that because like I said, I would need to get it repainted. Look how bad a shape this thing is in. And so I'm gonna need to keep this with my new bumper, this with my new bumper and the lower grill. I'm actually not sure if I want to keep this though. But let me know in the comment section below if you think I should. Oh, I'm just ready for this bumper to come in so I won't have any more bumper problems. Even after a quick detail or like a fairly good detail, the bumper still looks great compared to the rest of the car. And I don't like that. But it's enough about the bumper. This video isn't about that. Let me go ahead and get this catch can out of the car and show y'all what comes in it. So this is all what came with the catch can that I bought. And I'll leave a link in the description to show y'all exactly the catch can that I have. But as you can see, we have the catch can right here. And we're just gonna have to put the little fittings in here, the outside and then the inside. I should have on the screen right now which fittings go where because you do have a 3 8 fitting and a half inch fitting. As you can see, they're two different sizes. It also came with like this steel wool. It isn't steel wool, but it's some kind of like steel material that should help separate the oil from the air and that's something we're gonna need and then it also came with this little blue hose right here i didn't want to use that so i went on ahead and copped two new hoses and as you can see these right here they're three foot each but i don't think i'm gonna need all of that and i also copped these two brackets and i don't think i'm gonna need anything but one of them but i got two just in case because they were nothing but a few bucks each but now to put this inside of here and i'm going to show y'all just how i assemble this thing together to get it ready to throw in the car So now that I have my custom made bracket on here and all the hoses aligned, I know I'm going to have to trim this because I have three feet of each, but I need to go ahead and get this thing prepped for me to put in the car. And all I'm going to have to do is remove this hose right here. And as you can see, it goes right on down and it goes into, I don't know if y'all can see, but where my finger is right now. So this is all one hose. I'm just going to take that off. 
and then I'm gonna place my bracket right here on this piece with some self tapping screws and hopefully this will all fit once I trim the hoses but fingers crossed on that because I know how I am with these type of things but let me go ahead and start removing this hose so I can go ahead and put everything back in here and if you didn't know what I was talking about this is actually the little nipple that is down here and I'm gonna zoom out slowly so you can see yeah but it's just about right there I took this tube off and to make it easier I also removed this little sensor where is it? oh right here I actually removed this from there to make it a little simpler but now that I have that off I can go ahead and measure the hoses what I need to do with this thing and get it all back in the car All right, so I got everything installed, as you can see. They actually hooked up quite nicely down here, but since I did have two different style hoses, you can see there's a bend right here. And I don't like that at all, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna go try to get another fuel line hose, because this one is a heater hose. And yeah, I don't like the heater hose. So the half inch I got was heater hose. The three eighths I have is fuel line hose. And uh, yeah, that's how it's working out for me. But I am about to go ahead and try to start it up to see if anything leaks. Hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully the pressure of the air does open that up a bit to make the car not kill or anything. But if it doesn't, then I'm for sure going to go ahead and do that. Oh, and I forgot. I got to hook this back up as well. The little sensor. But once I do that, I'm going to start the car up and see how it runs. So it's currently the next day and as you can see I went on ahead to the auto parts store and I got me a 90 degree elbow to put on here so it would help solve that little flattening problem that I had but now that I have the car all situated and stuff I'm about to go ahead and take it on a test drive with the new oil catch can to see just about how this thing is going to react to it hopefully I didn't mess it up and hopefully it'll still start up and run fine driving the car for about 15 minutes or so now and it seems like everything's running fine the catch can I don't I wasn't looking for like a big drastic change or anything but I did want to make sure everything was hooked back up correctly and that I had drove the car a little bit and made sure that everything was buttoned up but this is just about gonna wrap up today's video so if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below and I'll catch y'all in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.